I'm Carolina and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I store and maintain my kite gear during the off season. Take good care of your kite, I'm sure it's gonna take good care of your performance while kiteboarding and if you don't take good care of your gear it might just break or you know get damaged while you're riding so we definitely try to avoid that especially here in Australia it's pretty rough sea and I'm pretty sure I won't be able to swim back on my own because the current because the waves are making it really hard I'm actually checking on my gear quite often here just to make sure nothing's gonna break out there so I'm gonna start with cleaning and checking my kite and then take you through the whole process I attach my kite to this line this is the, the construction I build especially for cleaning my kite so when I inflate it and rinse it with the water it's gonna dry evenly and way quicker than if you were rinsing your kite flat on the ground I clean my kites with water the same applies to the bar. It can weaken the fabric, it can weaken your gear, so don't use anything that you don't know how it will affect your gear. And the best thing is just water. While I'm waiting for my kite to dry, I'm gonna check my lines and my bar. So I'm going to unroll the lines. I'm going to attach them to the end of my car to check if they are straight. It really affects the kite performance and riding performance when one of the lines is uh, stretched or shrunk because the lines actually shrunk uh, because of the heat and cold so I'm going to check that and if one of the line is longer or shorter I am going to pull the other side to even it out I'm also going to check if there's any knots on the lines unfortunately I will not take them apart I think it weakens the line if I see one of the knots I'll leave it like this and ride for another few sessions and then unfortunately I'll have to replace the entire line because I want it to be safe and this is the safest practice to be done and the last thing I do with my bar is I give it a little bit of moisture <laughs> now I just take a surf wax and I put on the middle line because it's not protected on my bar and sometimes that line gets weakened and breaks so I definitely want to avoid that and because I only have one bar with me on this trip I really want to make sure everything is going to be working perfectly I just took the kite of the tree and I'm ready to show you how I pack my kite for storing. Just how I pack the kite to take the least space in my garage. Okay, so this is pretty small. To make it even smaller you can put it in half. And if I didn't do it this way, it probably would look like this. Checking and cleaning the gear is really tiring and I'm exhausted right now, as well as I'm exhausted from talking to the camera for the last hour. And this is pretty much everything I do with my bar and my kite. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please let me know in the comments also if you didn't like this video and you think it's completely useless also let me know in the comments so I'll know in the future what videos are helpful for you guys and I guess I see you in my next video bye